Hello everyone, welcome back to Ace Attorney Spirit of Justice. In the last one, we met a politician. We talked to him and then hightailed it out of there. We learned that Dats is a daddy. And I'm very excited about that. We also uh, are talking to a drone helicopter and learned a sad story about this poor kid who has now lost both his parents. I feel a little bad about that, but never mind. We don't have time. The location of the orb, please. Hopefully that they know where his father put it. Sarge, sir, do you have any idea where the orb might be? It was here in Papa's study until last night. Oh wait, that was the voice I gave him, right? But he said he was going to go hide it somewhere. He did, huh? He mentioned something about a shady character being after it. Where do you think he could have hidden it? Uh, somewhere in the village, I'd guess. Somewhere in the village. Yo, he's a bit of a daddy t Hello? What's with all the dads in this uh, Hello? This case has a lot of dads. This is just too many dads, never too many. I'm here for it all. Man, too bad he's gone. Oh, man. Silver foxes, let's freaking go. But of course the guy's gone already. He said he found a suitable hiding place for it. So it was here last night? That is, until he went out to hide it somewhere in the village. The only question is where? I don't know. Does anyone have any ideas? Maybe he left some clue here in his study. Let's search the place again. Again? What are we even gonna look at that we haven't looked at already? We should also find out more about Dr. Butt. It might steer us toward the hiding place. Yeah, maybe. I'm surprised this guy's being so open to us, but I, I guess I'm really not because Apollo did share his, uh, his own story with him in the last episode, and I think they became friends, which I like. So, Sarge, what was your father like? Papa was as kind as Mama was courageous. His whole reason for moving to the countryside was for me. What do you mean? I initiated my siege defense strategy after Mama died. Papa was so worried about me, he moved us here to the countryside. He thought the fresh air, blue skies, and natural surroundings might alter my tactics. Listen, everybody sometime need to go to the countryside and get some fresh air. Man, I'm doing that in a couple of days. What a fine father. Yeah, that was nice of him. He obviously cared about you. He even quit his position at the university to move here. He did? He did. He gave up his beloved research position just for me. A parent must be prepared to sacrifice everything for his child. That's what Papa said. Well, I'm feeling about two inches tall right about now. Yeah, really. There's no one in the world I respected more than him. But that just makes his passing all the more devastating. <laughs> oh no. Papa, may you continue your beloved research up there with the angels. That's so sad. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, fine. So what, here's the thing though. What haven't we looked at yet? Is it gonna be like a, a case of like, you, yeah, like you re-examine stuff. Oh, for example, the computer. Didn't we look at that last time? It's not lit up this time. This computer could provide some useful information. Maybe he'll give us the login for it. Cause I'm pretty sure we looked at this last time and it was password protected. Dirk, you're good at getting to places you're not supposed to. Don't look at me. I don't know the first thing about computers. He doesn't seem like a daddy that knows about TikTok. Ha ha ha, leave it to me. A modern day warrior must be well versed in technology and have mean, mean pride. Oh my God, the reference. After all, he who controls information controls the battlefield. All right, Tom Sawyer, go right ahead and do it. He's got it. Man, how you typing on that with one finger? All right, well, whatever. Was it one, two, three, four, five? Was it just password? Listen, <laughs> it happens. And I'm in. Looks like modern day warriors have mean, mean keyboard skills too. All right. Okay, let's see what we can find. What do we got? I cannot see that screen for the life of me. So if there is something important on it at the moment, I, you know, nope. <laughs> nope, you're gonna have to explain to me what it is. Oh, what's this, an email message? Do you know what email is, Dark? Oh, okay, I can see that. Now this is interesting. It's a research report to whoever asked this doctor to study the orb. What did that say? Oh shoot, I should have read that. It said something like, I deciphered the patterns. 
Here, I put the data on this. Aw, oh, thanks for the USB stick, mate. Take it and use it well, soldier. Email added. Data obtained from the doctor's computer includes a report on his research into the Founder's Orb. Right, okay. Well, I wish I could have read it on the screen right then and there. Uh, is it... Can you... Does the USB stick do anything, or do we have to stick it into a computer? Oh, no, here it is. I deciphered the patterns, but I have yet to crack the riddle. The opaque crystal orb is the key. Dr. Buff, how is your research coming? Okay. <clears throat> right, okay. Who did it say it was from? From something like Paul Research or something. All right, what else? Well, I mean, wait a minute. Didn't we examine this coat last time? It's a raincoat, huh? It's a bit wet and there's fresh mud on it. That must mean someone wore it recently. Did we get that message before? I don't think so. Indeed, maybe even as recently as last night. Sarge, did it rain here last night? Negative. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. Hmm. And how did this raincoat get all muddy and wet? When I saw it last evening, it looked pretty clean and dry to me. That means that it got like this later at night. Wonder if he used it to bury the relic or something. Good eye, son. This may well turn out to be a vital clue. Raincoat added. Seems the doctor wore this last night. Bears a distinctive yellow and green two-tone design. It reminds me of Lot of Heart, let's just be honest. It, just, it does a little bit. I don't know if anyone else thought that or not. Uh, what else? What else can we examine? The shoe? It's a shoe cubby. Hmm, these shoes look like they belong to Sarge and his dad. Ah, oh, these boots here are a little damp. Oh, perhaps he wore those. And it looks like there's something inside this one. Maybe Dr. Buff wore them last night. It might lead us to where he hid the orb. Let's take a closer look. Wait, at the shoe? Can't you just grab whatever's out of there? No, they're gonna make me do it. Oh man, and you know how much I love to do that. All right, fine, so can we just examine the overall shoe? We might get a better look inside if we undid these straps. Okay. Oh, Velcro. How very old person of you. Well, no, maybe some people might say convenient. You don't know. All right, so can we can we open? Can we open the strap. Now what? What about the mud on it and such? There's a question mark on the bottom of the boot. There is. Where? Papa had those custom made for his archaeological field work. He had the soul of an adventurer. Oh, now I kind of see it. I didn't. Ha I bet if I had the boot turned more, I would have seen it better. This boot had the soul of an adventurer, too. Pfft. Womp womp. Oh, come on, man. Yeah, there's the... Okay, there's the question mark. All right. Read all about it. Uh... Right, okay. What about the little pull tab that you used to pull it on? Is there anything in it? Nothing particularly interesting here. Right, okay. Hmm. Uh, let's turn it around... This swaw. It's really, oh shit, I picked the worst time to do this. I gotta be honest. I have one of those like offices where just at the right time of day for literally 20 minutes, the sun comes in through the blinds even if they're closed and it just shines one beam across my monitors right in the place where I have all of my setup. And I'm just like, bro. And it's right across this dang boot. Das boot. All right, there's, I don't see any other like examine coming up. What am I missing here? Can we undo the straps anymore? Anyone see anything? I'm asking as if you can help me with this. Uh, usually you can get the, you know, the cursor to a place where it would make sense to examine something. And so far, nothing. What about this shoe, son? <laughs> <coughs> oh God. Walk a mile in my shoes. Uh, boy, this case has really got it in for me, doesn't it? Like, seriously. All right. I cannot see a thing. Is there supposed to be something in here? Because to me, it doesn't look... Here, let's, let's focus on the inside of the shoe. Can you see anything in there? <clears throat> to me, it just looks all black. I don't see anything... Do I, oh, you know what? I probably, hmm. Let's zoom in. 
Good, now I've got the sunbeam across the whole thing. That'll help me, I'm sure. Uh, <laughs> look at this shoe. Is there, am I, oh, am I stupid? This is, this is just like the suitcase thing now. This is why this, this, sometimes th this series fails. Don't make this so ridiculous, or maybe it's just me, but come on. Sometimes people that can't see well play this crap. Oh, look at that. What's that? Is it Shrek? It looks like it's not- That was like way in there. We didn't even see that until we were zoomed in. It looks like some kind of glowing moss. It could have come from wherever the doctor went in last night. It must have gone in with some of the mud. It might be worth looking into. If it'll help us pinpoint where the doctor hit the orb. Glowing moss. Stuck to the insole of the doctor's boot. It probably got there when he went to hide the founder's orb. Okay. Right. Alright, now what? Dang. It would have been a lot easier if the sun wasn't shining right on my shit. Uh... Is that it? Anything else? How do I know? He didn't- he, they didn't give me the whole, like, we've looked at everything thing. Um, do we have to talk, maybe? No. Oh wait, no, we can. We probably can. Maybe we should ask him about it. Like, maybe we should ask him about the moss. Maybe he knows, like, where that can be found. Wait, look at this moss! Let me ask you something, Corporal Justice! How does that aid you on the battlefield? Um, well, if you count the courtroom as a battlefield, it's a fairly useful weapon. Good answer. A military man must know his weapons inside and out. Keep up the good work, Corporal! Sir, yes sir! I guess that's all he has to say about that. Oh man. Alright. So he doesn't want to talk about the glowing moss, which is a little bit weird, because you'd think that he would. Uh, let's see. Is okay, did we forget to examine something? Because there usually is some kind of indication that, like, oh see, the books aren't lit up either. Sarge, sir, do you ever read these books? Why, of course. Soldiers must have extensive knowledge, as well as fighting prowess. I'm learning all I can each and every day, preparation for the big battle. The big battle? Um, you know, for when I go back to school, I'll need to be up to date on every subject. Stuff like, you know, the latest comics and Hollywood gossip. Can you learn that in school? Oh, I see. What about reading, writing, and arithmetic? Nah, <coughs> we don't do that no more. It's all TikTok and stuff. Well, I'm rooting for you, Sarge. But the thanks, I'll try my best. All right, well, okay, well, now I'm now I'm paranoid. Like, what else isn't lit up here? Oh, the, what is this? Oh, those glasses, right. Are these the doctors? Yes, those are Papa's reading glasses. He said he'd been having trouble reading lately. But those glasses seem to help. Listen, it, don't get sad about that. That's just the thing of getting old. I mean, I need them. You guys know I do. Reading glasses, eh? I'll just hold on to these. Those aren't yours. <laughs> Dirk, don't tell me you're having trouble reading, too. Perish the thought. I, I just don't want to leave any stone unturned. Uh-huh. <coughs> Was it okay for us to take those, really? Doctor's reading glasses. The doctor's poor eyesight meant that he couldn't read anything without these. They were found on his desk. Right, okay. Well, now what? Oh, okay. Uh, now we've got the- Okay, now we've got the flavor text that tells us that we're probably done in here. Okay, let's go over what we've learned so far. Wherever it was that Dr. Buff went, he needed a raincoat. And it was somewhere where this glowing moss grows. Any ideas where that might be, Sarge? Negative, comrade. I hate to say my intel's a little thin on this one. I've been occupied with my siege defense strategy ever since we moved to the village. Yeah, I bet. It seems like a lot of work. Well, son, it seems we have no other choice. We'll have to ask the locals if they know of a place like that. Oh boy, okay. Go around and ask people. Well, it's been fun talking to you, Mr. Helicopter. I liked the show Airwolf, and I like you. <laughs> All right, fine. So let's let's go back to the village then. Does anyone even remember Airwolf? I seriously doubt any of you know what that is. So never mind. It's just Grandma rambling again. You can look it up if you want. It's pretty cool. Oh, look, there's posters and stuff on the on the wall. Did you see that? Oh, they're all over the place. Feels like someone's watching me and it's really creeping me out. I always feel like... Oh, it's just politicians' campaign posters. Yeah, don't worry about that. Why did he put these up? Oh, whatever. I've got more important things to be paying attention to. 
Oh, what a great weather. It really lifts the spirits. I know. After our little treasure hunt, what do you say we go hunting, son? Hunting? We used to do that a lot, didn't we? Yeah, just look at that mountain. I bet there are some feisty wild boars up there. Yeah, for what reason? Wild boars are stinky. I think I'll pass, but thanks. Oh, so hunting's a no-go. Uh, oh well. I guess that wild boar stew will have to wait then. Yeah, you know. Apollo, something seems different from the last time we were here. You mean other than the posters? What's different? Uh, you mean the posters? No, not those. What's he talking about? I guess I should take a look around myself. Well, the thing is, is we didn't exactly examine here the first time we were here. That was my bad. I probably should have done it. Uh, well, there's like a phone booth and posters and, well, let's just click them just to see. And there's some birds. Look at them. When did politician have a chance to put up all these electrine posters? That old fool keeps sticking them in our houses. He's a disgrace to his distinguished heritage. He's doing this without permission? That's not right. Doesn't seem like the uh, people like him too much. Birds! A thatched roof. First time I've ever seen one in real life. It looks just like the traditional thatched roof they use in Japan. Huh, <laughs> funny that. All we need now is some samurai with top knots, a few ninjas, and a cuddly mascot. Sir? That is racist. You don't need all those things. When was the last time you were in Japan? Listen, we don't talk about that. I was in Japan. I don't grab what's what's the year today? <laughs> like, uh 25 years ago. A phone booth and a bus stop made of wood. They both look really old. You hardly ever see phone booths in the city anymore. Well, you definitely won't see them now. Apollo, what's this glass box for? I guess you hardly see them in Kurain, too. D Dad, don't worry about it. Listen, I feel in this day and age that if, if, if we were walking somewhere at a con or something, some younger person would be like, see a phone booth and be like, what the hell's that? I feel like that would happen. Or like a pay phone. Oh, wait, no, no, no. I wanted to, t I wanted to, I wanted to hit the gulf sign. You know, see how the like, Korean sign looks like the, the old gulf gasoline sign. Do you guys even know what the hell I'm talking about here? All right, well, what? here's a big rock. It looks just like a penis. There's a throwback for y'all. There's a big boulder towering into the sky over there. <laughs> God, <clears throat> that's like the most, <laughs> that's the throwback of throwbacks. According to the sign, it's called the Kurain Boulder. It also says that a spirit dwells within it. Huh, a rock with a spirit in it. Listen, it's, it's happened before. It's called animism, the belief that spirits dwell within inanimate objects. They've probably enshrined the boulder as a sacred object. The tradition of worshipping such objects is similar to our tradition in Kurain. Interesting. Who knew the dirt could make sense every once in a while? Well, you haven't talked to him in a bit. Right, okay, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Poster. What else hasn't lit up? Oh, what's this over here? It's like someone painting something. Look at this, it looks like an easel. I didn't even see that before. What do we have here? Oh, what's this? Someone was drawing something. It looks like an unfinished picture. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, I'm sorry. Like something a little kid might paint. Hmm, you're right. But I can't quite tell what it's of. I think it's supposed to be nighttime. But what's that thing on the left? That looks like the raincoat, doesn't it? A monster or some kind of alien, perhaps? That's not what it is. What? In any case, it's a pretty poor excuse for a drawing. Man, that's rude. Maybe a kid made it. Well, what did you expect from a little kid? Wait, who's that? Who's that then? A little kid. Who's that? <gasps> oh, God! Pearly, it's you! Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited. I hope my voice can handle it. <laughs> oh, jeez. Pearl, how you doing? Pearl's not a kid anymore. She's all grown. Oh, it's you, Pearl. Why, Mr. Apollo, is that you? What a pleasant surprise! Yay! Hooray! This is the best day ever! <coughs> oh god, Pearl, I'm gonna die. Say some prayers for me, girl. It's been quite some time. How have you been? Fine, thanks. You're looking good too, Pearl. She looks fantastic. <coughs> uh, <coughs> aren't you gonna introduce me, son? Just pretend that was him clearing his throat. Of course, this is Pearl Fay. Pearl, I am so glad to see you. She's a spirit medium here in Korean Village. 
Pearl, this is Dirk, my, um, client. Nice one, Apollo. Well done. Hello, sir. Pleased to meet you. If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Sure thing, girl. <clears throat> nice to meet you, too. <coughs> and what a polite little girl you are. Oh, no, don't call her little. I'm um, actually, I'm a high schooler. Whoops, sorry about that. So, you're a spirit medium? Does that mean that you can channel spirits, then? Um, yes. I'm still in training, though. But I'm well-versed in the art of spirit channeling. Yeah, we know. <laughs> We've been new. Well, now, isn't that something? Uh, I mean, back in my country, our little princess hasn't channeled a single spirit yet. Pretty impressive, young lady. Oh no, she's all embarrassed. She's so cute! Man, these these animations are sending me. Oh, but compared to Mystic Maya, there's so much more I must learn. Mystic Maya? Oh, right, Maya Faye. Mr. Wright's former courtroom assistant. He told me all about her. She's a spirit medium too, if memory serves. Yes, she's an amazing medium, and soon she'll be the next head of the Fae Clan too. Yay! Mediums and spirit channeling? I've heard all about it from Mr. Wright. He said that mediums will even physically become the person they're channeling. <laughs> Let me tell you how we know that. I wonder if even Little Pearl would turn into a hulking giant if she had to channel one. Yes. <coughs> she has channeled two hulking giants before, if you catch my drift, sir. I hope you don't mind me asking, but what brings you all the way out here, Mr. Apollo? Oh, just a small matter to take care of. Wait, would it happen to be the matter Mr. Edgeworth's looking into- <coughs> Excuse me? Is, <laughs> is he here? I will- I will literally- I will shit my pants that I am not wearing. You know. Prosecutor Edgeworth? What's he doing here? Listen, that man goes where he wants, Apollo, alright. <gasps> Are we gonna see him? Oh my god, please. Oh, so it's a different matter then? Because I just saw him a moment ago. He appeared to be searching for something. Oh? Huh. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> Daddy, what's up? Yo. <clears throat> this older look is working for him, for me. Mm-hmm. Mr. Edgeworth is a friend of Mr. Wright's and the district chief prosecutor. Why would he be here in Corain? Well, no point obsessing over it. Listen, can I obsess over it? I'm going to. You don't know me. I will not rest until I've seen him. Come to think of it, you live here in Korean Village, don't you, Pearl? <clears throat> Gosh, guys, I'm sorry. Yes, I was born and raised here. No amount of water fixes this. It's just gonna take time, by the way, for people asking. This is perfect, Apollo. Let's ask the young lady if she knows where the doctor might have gone last night. I was thinking the exact same thing. Oh my gosh, we get to talk to Pearl. I'm so excited. Hooray. Maybe I should show her what we found in the doctor's study. All right, let's do that. Hey, girl. <clears throat> girl, don't mind if I can just clear my throat five million times while talking to you. Don't mind that. Korean Village. Give me all the deets. What a peaceful place. Ah, oh, nothing beats mountain air. Many of the villagers have left for the city, but I just love it here. Blue skies, lush forests, star-filled skies at night, and fireflies in the summer. Plus, the big beautiful blue ocean is just beyond the mountain. The ocean? What do you say we go for a swim, son? Uh, we're kind of busy? A man's been murdered? Alright. Oh, uh, uh, I think I'll pass. Besides, I can't swim. Me too, Apollo. You and me, boy. Let's go. Uh, Pearl, Crane Village is like the home of spirit mediums, right? Yes, and I'm part of a long line of mediums. You know, the show, Medium. You guys ever seen that show? I've never seen it. I've only seen Family Guy reference it. I have no idea what it's about. I'm assuming about ghosts. <laughs> I've never seen a channeling before, but... Is it possible to channel the spirit of anyone who's passed away? Oh no, not just anyone. You must know their face and true name. Really? Well, that's a, that could still be five million people, though, could Like, that's still a lot of people it could be. Really? You can channel a spirit just by knowing their face and name? That's an amazing ability. Imagine if you had a friend that just, like, 
passed away and you didn't, you know, what you're just gonna channel them without asking, you know, just because you feel like it. It is, but it can only be learned by those with a gift occurring in certain bloodlines and years of intense training. At present, Mystic Maya and I are the only ones in our village who can channel spirits. Yeah, it's, it's difficult to do. <clears throat> Looks like spirit mediums are highly valued in here, much like they bower back in Kurain. Well, they don't really let anyone do it in Kurain except the queen, right? I heard there used to be many more of us a long time ago, but now we're in very short supply. Well, most of the women nowadays don't want to stay. They want the thrill of the big city. Not me, girl. If I, mm, if I was born in there right now, I would stay right there. Give me the simple life. That's what I want. Yeah, well, you guys aren't exactly close to any shopping malls or nightclubs. I don't care. Sign me up. I'm at the, I'm at that stage in my life where I'm like, dang, I just want to be, I want a simple life. Let's go. What about you? Are you not interested in things like that? Well, who, me? Well, I, <laughs> I wouldn't mind a new outfit or two and well, um, oh, never mind. It's okay, Pearl. You are at that age after all. Listen, that's normal. Totally normal. Oh, God. <clears throat> Politician, do you know the guy? You stay away from him. Oh, we met this weirdo earlier named Politician. Do you know anything about him? Yes, he's been campaigning a lot around here lately. And the noise he's been making has become quite a problem. Oh, people are especially upset that he's campaigning at all hours of the night and day. What? That's not right. Don't you guys have any police around here? Well, the local police should arrest him for disturbing the peace. <clears throat> that's right. Unfortunately, there's little they can do because the Edison family is so powerful. Well, isn't he the proverbial pampered provincial prince? He seems pretty intent on winning here in Kurain. Is there some special reason why? Uh, I'm not sure, but I have an idea. The spirit mediums of Kurain once hold considerable sway in the political world. Judging by his slogan, maybe that's what he's after. Great, so he's just another politician seeking powerful connections. Wonderful, aren't they all? The ability to commune with the dead gives comfort to those anxious about the future. Tiny Kurain has preserved its independence by the Queen's power of spirit channeling. It must play a similar little role in this village. It probably does. Yes, even today many here revere those with spirit medium blood flowing in their veins. So basically, as politician's benefactor goes, so goes the whole village? Who is this benefactor? Who could hold this much sway? I don't know, I'm worried about that. I wonder who that is. I wonder if we're gonna find out. Alright, uh, it's said to present her some things that we found. I'm assuming that the first thing we're gonna have to do is this moss. Maybe she knows where we can find it. Pearl, do you have any idea where this moss might grow? That looks like Mitama moss. It grows on Mount Mitama and gives off a soft glow in the dark. Mount Mitama? See that mountain over there? That's Mount Mitama. The one back there that looks like Fuji. <laughs> and how would one get there? Well, you can take a bus from that bus stop over there. Um, may I ask why you're so interested in that moss? Well, Dr. Buff was supposed to give us something. But it seems he hid it somewhere last night. He, he did? Maybe that's why he, um... Pearl? Do you know something that might help? Do you know anything, girl? Um, well... It sounds like... Oh, sounds like I better find out what she knows. She do know something. Where the doctor went? Oh, why am I taking a dip in frames? What happened there? I don't know. Pearl? Do you have any idea where Dr. Buff might have gone last night? Um, well... She kind of does, doesn't she? She always acts like this when she knows something and she's not sure if she's supposed to say. Um, about that... All I know is Dr. Buff was somewhere on Mount Matama. Oh, girl, no! No, Pearl! Gosh darn it! My bracelet! It's reacting, girl! Which means Pearl is hiding something from me. Ma'am, I don't need any of this from me. Listen! Can people stop lying to me all the damn time? <laughs> Pearl, how could you? All right, let, let's perceive it and see if we can do something. 
You know, this is probably like my least favorite one. Um, just because I, I miss every, well, it's not gonna be her head, is it? It'll probably be her hand. Either her hand, she's always moving her eyeballs back and forth, that's normal. It's either gonna be this hand or the other one. All I know is that Dr. Buff was somewhere on Mount Matama. I didn't see this move. I don't know if you guys did. What else could move? Let's take a look at this one too. Uh, all I know is that Dr. Buff was somewhere on Mount Matama. Hmm. I haven't seen this movie either. Oh wait! Yeah, her thumb's moving a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, P girl! Why are you lying? Why the heck you lying? Pearl, you seem anxious around the topic of Mount Matama. I could tell because you'd rub your thumb over a splotch of dried paint as you said it. Oh, um, well... That nighttime painting is yours, isn't it? Is it Pearl? It is. Oh, this is so embarrassing. As you saw, I'm not a very good artist. But that picture has nothing to do with Dr. Buff. Ma'am, <clears throat> stop lying. I'm not so sure about that. In fact, I'm going to guess that, that while you were out here painting last night, you actually saw the good doctor heading out to Mount Matama from the bus stop. No, I, I didn't see anything like that, I swear. No, I'm positive you saw the doctor. After all, he's right here in your picture. What resembles doctor for this thing? <laughs> this is a weird thing right here. You think that's the doctor? I may not be a very good artist, but at least I know how to draw a person. Okay, if this isn't a person, then what is it? Um, well, that's a, a rain spirit. Uh-huh, girl. With the same damn coat that he's got in his office. Ma'am, why is you lying to me? I thought we was friends. Um, and what's a rain spirit doing at a bus stop? Oh, um, rain spirits have places to go too. Girl, please. This is getting ridiculous. Sorry, Pearl, but you're not a very good liar. Oh, me too. That is Dr. Buff, and this piece of evidence proves that it's gotta be the code, because it looks exactly hello. Oh my god, my thing's lagging like crazy. I have to shut this this on thing, thing down soon. This is the raincoat we found in the doctor's study. It's still wet and muddy, so we know that someone wore it last night. Now, see how this pattern is the same as the rain spirit in your picture? Uh, you didn't see a rain spirit last night. You saw Dr. Buff wearing this raincoat. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I know I'm not supposed to lie, but. Oh, girl, why did you do that? Come on, it's all right. Nothing's gonna happen to you. She must be worried, she must be scared about something. She must know too much. That doesn't bode well. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before, Mr. Apollo, but I did see the doctor last night. It's all right. Just please, tell me everything you know. Of course. I was painting out here last night when the doctor came up to the bus stop. He was wearing a raincoat even though it wasn't raining, and a helmet with a light on it. Sounds like he was well prepared for something. I know. That's why I asked him if he was going off exploring again. He looked startled like he hadn't noticed me there. And then he suddenly said, Please don't tell anyone you saw me here. Oh. Okay, that's why she felt like she couldn't say anything. Ooh, what's this music? Hello? Why would he want to silence you like that? What's going on here? Something must have happened to spook him. And he didn't want anyone to know where he was going to hide the orb. But where could he have been going dressed like that? My best guess is a cave somewhere on Mount Matama. I heard there's a cave there where mediums of the Korean tradition went to train long ago. Legend has it that there are some sort of mystical ruins in there. Mystical ruins? Sounds like the exact sort of place an archaeologist might go. Sure does. Well, we should get going now. But thanks for all your help, Pearl. You're welcome, Mr. Apollo. Please take care. Oh, girl. We're on our way to the mountain, aren't we? What do you say we go find that cave, son? I sense that the orb might finally be within our grasp. Something tells me it's not going to be that easy, though. This treasure hunt is shaping up to be the real deal. <laughs> really gets the blood pumping, doesn't it? I, I'm sorry, what? Oh. 
Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Are we just- oh, okay, I just, we're just going. Alright, well, fine, we're getting on a bus. Riding on a bus, riding on a bus, sitting next to bums, there's no proceed, hope that doesn't pee. Oh, wow, look at this! Oh my god, Apollo's almost dead. I'm <laughs> same. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm all out of breath. Oh, come on, that was nothing. You're so much younger than me. I, uh, oof. Yeah, but he's a city boy now, you know how it is. I don't normally get this much exercise. <coughs> oh, good, now I can cough, actually. You need a break? No, I'm fine. <laughs> Dirk, look! There's Matama moss growing in that cave over there. This must be where the doctor was last night. Let's take a look inside. All right, let's do it. Is it gonna be okay? We, I, did we come prepared for this? We didn't even bring a bottle of water or a flashlight or nothing. We're gonna go spelunking now? Oh, it's probably pitch ass dark in here. I can't see a thing. Yeah, we should have thought of this. Relax, your eyes will adjust eventually. Now follow me. I really think we need a flashlight, Dirk. Should have brought one along then, son. Oh, Jesus. What? H hello? Who's that? Thanks. Wait, were you holding out on me? Uh, who are you talking to, Apollo? Who the fuck is in here with us? Uh-oh. Whoa! Someone just pushed me. Oh, no. Not this again. Apollo? What the? Apollo! Ah! Uh, uh, did we just fall? In a cave somewhere? Oh, no. Oh. Are you all right, son? Y yeah. It's like someone got the drop on us. Who the fuck was that? Why, literally. But who? I mean, we could have died from that fall. Who the? I don't know. But I don't think we'll be getting out the way we came in. Oh! Mm-hmm. Yup. <laughs> Wait, this is serious. Looks like we're in a pretty deep cave. Oh, shit. No, now it's all done. It's all stupid. Nothing to do with press on, son. How can you even see in here? This is terrible. We're not only can't see, but we're not at the entrance anymore either. Come on, let's go. This is like King's Quest. Hey, wait! One false step, and we're dead. What in the world should we do? Oh, wait, excuse me? This is gonna be a choose your own adventure? Oh, no. Uh-uh. I'm stopping right here, so at least I have a save. Oh, heck no. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't think so. No, 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 no. Turn to page 56 if you want to keep going with the series. I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you soon in the next episode. Holy crap, this is getting exciting. Toodaloo!